Seven News learning new details about the sexting investigation at Chaparral High School that was breaking this time yesterday. The principal telling Seven News there won't be any disciplinary action against students while the sheriff's office investigates. Seven News reporter Tyler Lopez live at Chaparral. Tyler, the principal told you these students know better. Right, Mike, for the last three years, they've held a day-long presentation for incoming freshmen on cyber safety, including what these phones can do. The principal says no matter what you tell them, kids will still make mistakes with these devices, but he thinks taking them away completely is still the wrong approach. Out of 2,000 students, a total of four cell phones have been taken by Douglas County Sheriff's investigators in a sexting case involving pictures of a single student. What I saw was unified today saying, no, this isn't, you know, they go, I don't know what's happening, and whoever did this, they had to knock it off. The principal knows parent-teacher conferences will likely center on sexting. Teachers read this awareness notice in class, and parents also got this email explaining what happened. We used to not allow cell phones in the, sc in the school, and I'm like, you know what? This is their world, so let's not take it away from them. Let's teach them how to use it effectively. Such as warning students that sexting can land you on the state's sex offender registry. And that studies show up to one in three teens surveyed admits getting a sexually explicit message or picture on their cell phone intended for someone else. Most kids are making good decisions, and every once in a while we have something like this. And they're just varying degrees, you know, of what would cross the line. Right now, the school is centering on education about the unintended consequences about what can come from these phones and where that can end up. Live in Douglas County, Tyler Lopez, 7 News. All right, Tyler, thank you. This case came to light after a student told Chaparral's school resource officer about the pictures that had been texted. No one has been arrested or charged at this point.